I'm Seth with Otmo. Uh, I just wanted to go over a few kind of midsummer, mid use maintenance tips. Right now, I think what we're going to do is since we have it up here um, and it is shut off, so make sure before you flip it over or move it around, you reach under and the power switch will be on the back of the 400 series and then off to the right of the side on the 300 series. Uh, make sure that's switched off so your keypad is no longer lit up. So since we're going to be cleaning it, um, I like to start with the bottom so that way you're not flipping over your clean mower upside down and get more debris where you just wipe down and then since we're going to do that we might as well just go ahead and change the blades right off the bat. So, um, so this one is pretty clean um, but if uh, yours is uh, rather dirty you're going to notice that you're going to have um, some grass buildup uh, especially underneath the blade here which is a little difficult to see but even this mower has some debris. Um, there is a boot in here, so be careful when you are cleaning it as not to tear that. Um, so what I have here is just a, a small, softer, softer bristle brush. So you can kind of, if you have that, that backed up grass, you can get in there and just, you just kind of want to scrub over it, uh, clean all the cracks and crevices. You'll see here, this is uh, definitely getting some dried up debris. We have these wipes, you can, you know, use a reusable rag and some water. Um, we tend to keep it simple, some simple green or some just some little bit of soap and water. You can always use a tooth, uh, toothbrush to get into some tight spots. But what we do is we just kind of wipe it down with these rags. All right, uh, now that we replace the blade and kind of given the bottom of the, the chassis a once over, um, we're just gonna pop the top off here and give it a look and see how much grass is built up and if there is any, let's go ahead and get it out of there. Um, so there's gonna be four fluid sensor joysticks and we wanna be careful of popping this off, but you're gonna wanna hold down on the center here and just go around and give them a nice pop. And once you've done that, you can lift the chassis, the top part, and pivot it. Uh, something important here is there are wires attached and it's important to not um, pull those wires too much. If you pull those, those grommets, those gaskets out, uh, that could open up the chassis to moisture. And once moisture gets in there, it can cause a mess of trouble that nobody wants to deal with. So just, you know, it's best to have something to lean it against. So we've got the top cover supported and we can have a look here at the chassis and just kind of give it a glance and see if there's anything stuck in here. All right, uh, so one of the biggest places the grass tends to build up is going to be on top of these joysticks and around them. And you can see there's a little bit here, but relatively clean, uh, pretty well taken care of. Uh, so not a lot of it there. Um, when you are cleaning this, it is good to be mindful, same as the cutting this on the bottom of this rubber boot, because you don't want this rubber boot to get nicked. So just be gentle and just be mindful of what tools you're using. Don't scrub too hard on this. Um, this is where you would want to use just a soft rag and kind of clean it out. Um, but you know, for the rest of this, kind of on these edges, you can go around and you know unstick some of this caked on debris, um, anything around in here. You can you still use it. Just be careful with it. Uh, another thing is just, you know, pop the keypad open, kind of go through it and make sure that there's not too much in here. You know, please, you can keep it in every crevice, the better off you are. Um, but I think we're pretty happy with this. It's not perfect, didn't roll off factory, but it is cleaner than it was. While you have this upside down um, and flipped, um, give the uh, underside of the body a quick glance here. Uh, so we're just going to pop this back on. So, you know, flip it back over and you'll feel it line up and then just gently push down on all four corners till you hear it pop. And you're good to go. Give it a little tug, and we're good. The outside is not as important as the body and the mechanicals and making sure you get the kind of build up out of there. Uh, there's a little dust on this, but nothing's too concerning. Since we have the rags, I'm going to give it a quick wipe down. Um, but other than that, the outside should be good. Um, you do want to check on uh, your charging points and make sure that those are relatively clean. These aren't bad at all. Um, but if you do notice you have some charging issues, this is always a good thing to check. Um, you can clean this with just some pure rubbing alcohol. 